My name is Ratsuni, and welcome back to the Binding Minds Golf Birth. The Rat uh, Challenge, maybe? Yeah, let's go with the challenge. Haven't done a challenge in a while. I rule. Brains, Pride Day, Onan Streak, The Guardian. Let's go with Pride Day. I just like the name of it. So we're going to have all the rainbow effects here. Rainbow Worm, which I can drop, hopefully. Looks like I can't actually drop it. I'm holding down control. Mmm, part of the challenge must be that you can't drop it. Uh, $3 bill, which gives you basically rainbow effects on your tears. And we got rainbow, baby. Hopefully we can still get, like, actual item rooms here. Because I don't know if these items are going to be enough. Otherwise, we're just going to have to carry ourselves in the standard way. Go through the deals with the devil. And hope that that gets us there. So, $3 bill has been changed as far as I'm aware. Now it actually changes in the same room. So you're not stuck with the same tier effect through the whole room. Unfortunately, I've got Curse of the Blind right now, which I would like to have cleared as soon as possible. It looks like I have two effects at the same... Oh, of course, it's the Rainbow Worm. My bad. I was just being dumb there, evidently. Not an entirely foreign phenomena for me. Okay. Let us just blow these up. As we do. Excuse me. I was mostly just looking for Burnt Penny, though. Oh, God. Some of these worm effects are just absolutely atrocious. Uh, having more health at the cost of speed should be okay. Basically, I feel like Maggie right now. I just gotta get into my Maggie senses. Okay, we definitely don't have item rooms. We do have shops. But, uh, I don't really know how well that's going to work for us. Uh, you know what? We should check for a secret room and then see if the shop will work for us. Shit, we could even have the super secret room south. Nice. I want that. That's a good one, though. That's lazy worm. Makes its ears big. I think. Alright. Did you just own- did you- did this guy only have two to start with? And it's playing the boss defeated music, nice. Assuming that one's a bug though. Okay, this is a champion version. It shoots out spiders instead of doing a death ray. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, fuck off. Oh, God. He's feared. He's unpredictable again. Okay. He's dead. But I'm still terrified. Oh, did manage to get a Eternal Heart, though, so that's actually pretty good. Squeezy for the rate of fire increase, and the two Spirit Hearts is also amazing. Possibly protecting me while I try and get the deal with the Devil this floor. Yeah, it looks like I've got Fire Tears and Double Shot at the same time. Is is $3 bill giving me two different effects at the same time? Because in that case, it might actually be good. Don't tell anyone I said that, though. Okay. There we go. Oh, fuck, of course. I was like, yeah, we're finally going to be able to replace our trinket. We're going to oh, love it. Nope. Guess we're just completing this to try and see if we get... Oh, one cent. One whole cent. We're saved. Easy. Please change trinket effect. Thank you. Fucking hate that one. Uh, excuse me. Finish that fire. Thank you. So we're still looking for more money to try and capitalize on our shops. So it's the two things, like shops, devil deals, both of those we've got to capitalize on to really get anything good out of this run. Just got to try and stop taking stupid damage. We've only taken one red heart so far, so that's not that bad. One red heart, one uh, spirit heart. Any red hearts would be horrible. Lock down. Bombs are key. Alright. 
I'm just gonna stand here for this one. I'm bad. I'm salty and faulty about that. It's okay. If we just take a lot of damage, we can go to our... What the fuck was that one? We can go to our... Uh, trap room. Boss trap room. And then win from there, I guess. Possibly. Or not. Ooh, okay. I don't even know what I want from this. I'm fine with that. Oh, God. I was wondering, like, oh, is the more damage going to effectively decrease the amount of damage I take? Because the fight will be a lot shorter. Could've. You know what we do want, though? BFF. That would be lovely. And we could try and stack a familiar build here. Magic 8 ball for the shot speed up. I guess I'm just taking whatever I find in here. Uh-huh. Pentagram, nice. Abaddon, nice. Both of those really, really good. 2.5 damage up total. Uh, yeah, I'll go back and look for the secret room. And if I'm looking for the secret room... Oh, no, wait. No, this is a key multiplier. Right. Okay, that was the secondary position I thought it would be in. The primary position, however, I don't know if I know where to bomb for it. Because I think it's here. Right? Or is it here? There we go. I knew it was there. Okay. Easy kill. Kind of want to bomb that greed head dude so I can try and get greed keeper, head, head of the keeper. There we go. But that's obscenely rare, so I'm not going to go for that. I just... I'd like it, though. Ooh. That... Is a crawl space. Uh, it's an unexciting crawl space, but it's a crawl space nonetheless. It's better than not a crawl space, I can tell you that much. And now I know that there's not going to be another crawl space on this floor, so I don't have to worry about that. Although, it rarely works its way into my reasoning for doing things, so I guess that's not really a huge benefit that I'm getting there. God, it's really annoying to expect to hit the enemy in front of you and then suddenly your fucking tears are whipping around them. Stupid whipworm. It should also be noted that uh, taking the one heart deal with the devil first was definitely the best idea there. Because otherwise I would have had to lose three black hearts, or a spirit heart and two black hearts, to pick up Pentagram. Because Abaddon was just going to take all my red health regardless. Okay. If I get the money for the shop, I'll backtrack, but it doesn't look like I am going to. For this run, I really think it's more... Oh, hang on. I should go back and check for the secret room. Ooh, Headless Horseman. This is actually not that bad. It's not that bad right now because I don't have any spacebar item that I'd rather keep. In fact, I don't have any spacebar item full stop. Which makes the ability to fly on a spacebar item actually worthwhile, where it usually is just like, why would I give up my D6 for this? See? Backtrack, get myself some keys. Also, it increases our speed. So that offsets a little bit of the lard that we picked up earlier. May as well go in here. Sackhead, I fucking love it. Love it. Duh. At least just kill the fucking fires. Thank you. That seems a weird position for that to be in, though. Ooh, I like bombing this guy. Yeah, that's why I like it as well. Alright, let's get that sack head. Sack me up. More sack. Oh, give me a sack. Oh, baby, that's it. Uh, accidentally be uh, bought the pill and thought, oh, let's make the best of it. Definitely wasn't a good idea. Another sack. I mean, with this many drops after every single time I complete something, I may as well just complete as many things as I can. Uh, 
Get a sack after this room as a payout. That's a very just sack right there. Uh, you know what? Two of spades. Almost certainly use as soon as I finish this room. Because I'll probably just forget about it eventually. And there's no way I'm going to need more than 16 keys on this bomb. Sorry, on this uh, challenge. So this finishes at normal mode mom's heart. That's not that bad, actually. I can do that. Sure. I have no reason to want lower health right now, so I'll take it. Alright, get bombed. Just wanted Steam Sale or the Greed Head. That's it. That's fine. I can live without him. Did find the secret room. Super secret room would just be a hassle. Hmm. Let's try north first. Evidently, that was a bad idea. Unless... I get a sack drop. In which case, it was the best idea. Wow, it was a horrible idea. Uh, we need another deal with the devil this floor. Doesn't look like it's going to be a bad... Uh, doesn't look like it's unlikely, I sh guess I should be saying instead. That didn't work out badly. Oh, wow. Three fucking... Four, five, five sacks on the floor. This room definitely pays for itself. Jesus. We've got all the batteries. This would be so good for a breaking run. Justice. Empress Hermit. Uh, don't know about that. Yeah. Oh, Oh my god. What is this? Algies, Algies. This would seriously be incredible for a breaking run. Alright, I'll just give you as much money as you possibly can take. Thank you for the health. Guess I'll be using it on deals with the devil. Um, Algies Hermit. I think I'll take Algies for the boss fight and then come back for a different card. Possibly the Hermit? I don't know. Depends on how I feel about it, to be honest. Uh, actually, no. I'll definitely take the Emperor down to the next floor. Because the Emperor on the womb might save me, like, a shitload of time and health. Just to go straight and finish the boss fight. Okay. It's given me a lot of the, uh, double shot, which I'm liking a lot. I may as well pop an Algees to get out of here, because there is another Algees that I can just go pick up. So that Algees is now half of a black heart. Not that bad, to be completely honest with you. As a value proposition goes. Fucking breaking setup in that room. Oh my god. It's so- it's unreal. I just can't wait to get my hands on the ability to do that. Oh, good lord, that was bad. I mean, it cleared the room, but... Yeah. Man, that charge really doesn't do anything. If only the contact damage was increased on it. Two. Three. I do have red health lying elsewhere on the floor. Uh, I mean, if I'm about to trade away all of my health to a deal with the devil, I may as well try and expend all of my health-related opportunities first. I could even go to the boss trap room right now. Which might be worth my time. We'll see. We'll see. Yes. Yes. Now I'm taking that because if I get, like, triple shot like I have right now, it's going to be amazing. Triple shot, quad shot, any of those kinds of things. It's going to balance them out to the point that they're actually incredible. But 
Also, it'll lend some consistency to my run by balancing everything else out. And I desperately need some goddamn consistency in this run. Because everything else is so incredibly changing. Changing? What? Uh, constant to change. I, I clearly don't know the words that I was trying to say there, but things are changing at a very quick pace. Come up here and collect that. Guess I'll finish the bottom room as well. No reason to ignore it. Definitely not a reason to ignore it. Solid. That could be a secret room. That is a secret room. That could be incredible. That is incredible. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to go with blowing this guy up as well. Just because I can. Oh, that can drop those? What the fuck? Well, this changes everything. All geese is being used here, then. Sackhead is my new favorite shop item. Uh, I don't know which of these I want. Ouch. Okay, we only took one hit in here, that's fine. Algi's evidently was not necessary. That tears up is unfortunately just a small everything up. Uh, can take both of them. And now I am the Cthulhu. I should have flight right now, right? So I can take this. Yeah, Cthulhu. So I got flight. Yeah. And we go back for our card and then leave. I think I might go Hermit now, actually. Yeah, I'll go Hermit. I'll go Hermit. So Hermit is north. Gotcha. Yes, there was a bomb in there. No, I don't care. <laughs> Why would I care about a bomb at this point? Just a single lonely bomb. Uh, we'll bomb south of here. Because this could be the super secret. Oh, excellent. What makes you small? Kind of makes up for everything that happened in there, to be completely honest with you. All right. Let's go down here and immediately hermit it up. Unless, like, we're next to a curse room and then we go into the curse room and then hermit. Never mind. Hermit for a fin. Uh, um, nice. Definitely worth it. I think I go with this, actually. Because I don't really have any red hills right now. So the other one is nowhere near as useful as it used to be. Uh, we did get a joker last floor, so we're probably not going to get a joker this floor. But let's check first. A joker, I mean deal with the devil. Probably not going to naturally earn this one. Solid. And... Earned. Excellent. I'm very glad that I didn't use the Joker then. Uh, Alright. Take both. Cool. Paid three spirit hearts for a bomb. Uh, Fuck, I could actually just straight up leave right now. I think it might be correct as well. Let's check this. Use that to blow this dude up. Check that for a secret room. Okay. Let's go. I don't know if it's worth my while at all to stay on that floor. Maybe we use the Joker to escape from Boss Rush? Can you even do that anymore? Okay. Not a problem, game. I'll take it. Okay. 
Okay, these guys are fear. Ah. Fear evidently is the mind killer right there. Question mark card. Doubles my active. Forgot that it doubles my active, so I actually used it before I remembered what it did. Okay, what is this? What is this? It's Empress. Why are they all gravitating towards me? Usually they just stay there. Hmm. This is very curious. It's fine. Again, I don't know if I'm going to get the deal with the devil, so we'll try and get it naturally first, and then use the Joker afterwards, because we could save the Joker in case. Although, we really only have to go to Mom's Heart, so... I guess we would be using it on Mom's Heart Floor. Oh, there's our deal with the devil, so I guess... I guess we're saving the Joker again. So that usually is just two troll bombs, which tells me, since it was a troll bomb and a sack, that the sack can just replace any drop. Which would make sense, to be honest. But that also means it has bad synergy with stuff like the Relic. Oh, I just like that it exists. Oh man, are you kidding me? All right. Loop around, probably through the long thin room, because that's still pretty far. From the spawn room. Uh, put my bomb here. Easy run. Oh my god, I did not know that I still had a shop on this floor. Do I? Okay. Yes, I do. I was... I think I was confused because I was expecting... To pretty much be done with all of this kind of stuff. But nope. Very glad. Let's check it. It's a library. Did I... Did I already visit my shop this floor? I don't know. I don't think I did. I was almost going to call it out as a library as well. But, you know, for wrong reasons, evidently. Rules card. Sleeping gatekeepers will need to be awoken with loud sound. That's fine, but, you know, we already know that information. Yep. Really wanted to destroy that guy there, because I knew that could happen. Okay, let's see if there's anything useful among all of these. Hanged man? Nope, have it effectively. Two spades, may as well. High priestess. Okay, none of them particularly good. Uh, I do want to finish exploring, though, for the secret, uh, secret, the shop. Because mapping could be kind of cool. Hello, Super Greed. How are you doing? That well, eh? Okay, take that, one that, and we'll just get out of here, I guess. Kind of disappointing, but it's fine. Getting all of your final shops denied is always a little bit annoying, at the very least. Pop it out. Come on, whip it out. Mm-hmm. I don't care, I'll take the damage. Just... Die. Easily done. Now, this is down to the heart, so I guess I want to take the invincibility stuff. Right. Then leave. We did earn the deal with the devil there, which means that earning the deal with the devil on this floor is unlikely. But then again, it was unlikely on that floor, and we earned it, so pff, fuck knows. Hope I get something good for this challenge. Really want some nice items to spice stuff up. I know that I already have items that I still don't even understand. And I'm asking for more items to spice things up. I know. I'm dumb. I'm aware. Okay. Come on. And thank you. Ouch, not good, not good. But, 
Scarred Wound 1, 22 minutes. Yeah, we'll be done in no time. Oh my god, my trinket meant that I couldn't actually fire forward. Thanks, Whip... Oh, uh, I think that was Hookworm, actually. Whipworm is the one that increases your shot speed a bunch. Yeah, it was Hookworm. My bad. Okay, it looks like Sax definitely cannot spawn Sax. That makes sense, though. Fuck big rooms like that, to be completely honest with you. No interest. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot these fire in all four directions. How did I forget that? I literally just dealt with it. Mm-hmm. I think I go with the Book of Belial and try and get my Devil Deal off of it, which means that I get to use my Joker next floor. Guarantee myself absolutely all of the deals with the Devil. Mm-hmm. Stop with the fucking hookworm. It's the worst worm. All of the other worms I can deal with. Hookworm is the worst. Even the fucking side-to-side -side worms I can deal with. The sign and square wave ones, fine. Not a problem. Have a have at it for your life, son. But the hookworm. Just makes it too There we go. There it is. Just on show, it heard me calling out its name. Its ears were burning, so it decided to show up. Okay. Obviously, it's death, because we used the Book of Revelation. And we've already fought the Headless Horseman, so it couldn't be Headless Horseman again. Oh, it could be Conquest, I guess. Destroy that so I can actually fire at him. Excuse me? Can you stop, please? Hookworm, don't show up. Okay, and it didn't show up, but that's fine. It's fine. So, we'll bomb for a super secret room. Because I want a spirit heart before I try and do this. Otherwise, I might not be able to take certain items. Super secret. Not spirit heart, sadly. Uh, but I can't... Oh, I'm fucking dumb. Okay. I can still do it. It's just going to be a longer trek. Uh, I can still go all the way through... Have a, just, have a charge. Oh my good lord. That's a lot of charges. Thank you. That's exactly what I was asking for. I'm not going to go back for the other charge. This is fine. Okay. Then I'll take my blue candle and move. Ah, uh, why? No, I should try and guarantee the ability to kill the boss. I'll go with this. I don't need the room to room clear. I can just bomb through all of the rooms. Then I Joker here. Take my just rewards. What's this? Emperor? Death. Damn. Emperor would have been the best of all fucking time, but it's okay. You can't always have what you want. Can't always get what you want as well. But if you try sometimes, you might just find that you get what you need, so that's cool too. Put myself on half a heart. Oh my god, this is like infinite breaking on this, isn't it? Oh man. Oh man, Bloodbag fucking healed me. How dare it. Fool, Hermit, Hero Font, Fool. Okay. Guess we'll do some of the random teleports, I guess. Hermit. So we we'll use Hermit. Oh, right. I can't go in there anymore. Really? Hermit put me here. The other two are both full and they have a destination on this map, so not a problem. For them, Retrovision. Time to go down to 144p.
This looks like the correct way. Or not. Just try and bomb through. No reason to try and engage with anything here. Damn it. Seriously picking the wrong way. Wow, this is bad. Ouch. I'm taking more damage than I would be if I didn't do this now. Fuck it. Oh, excellent. We got it back. Cool. Totally justifies that room. This room, not difficult to complete. I don't want to have to backtrack through this again. Although, theoretically, uh, I shouldn't be able to backtrack through that room again. Specifically. This room has so many different sides. I'm just going to finish it. Because I'm just going to have to backtrack through it a bunch. I'd rather not. That's a shop. I think I've exhausted most of the stuff for the shop. Could be cards in here still, though. Satanic Bible, Spirit Heart. The Bible is instant kill. Your secrets. Oh, cool. Bible, instant kill on Mom's Heart. Done. <laughs> go south and to the left <laughs> easiest thing of my life and then it doesn't live anymore excellent challenge done Ooh, what do I want from here maybe I'll take uh, this 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 Oh, nice, we got a Joker, so we can use that on the next floor, but uh, let's go down to the next floor and- Oh no, we accidentally won the challenge! We got the D8 unlocked, appearing in the basement, my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been the Binding Wise Garth to Birth, the name of the challenge was I can't remember, hopefully you've been enjoying yourself, if you have, please click like, it does help get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the Binding Wise Garth to Birth and Rebirth, past, present, future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.